Could you imagine being Thor in that timeline, just like... Where the f- Where the the <laughs> What's happening everybody and welcome to Combro Stations, a show where we record conversations we were gonna have anyway and upload it to the internet most of the times about movies, video games and other funny stuff. Today is the day we're reviewing Avengers Endgame. Yes, bah, 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 bah. Oh boy, Please this new... the actual soundtrack there. No, no, no. The be- I, I, you know what? We better actually bleep that out, mute that out, because we might get a copyright strike just from how good my rendition was there. <laughs> yes, guys, Avengers Endgame is out officially for everybody to watch. It came out just about a week ago from when we're recording yeah. this. Uh, we've watched it. A cu- I've watched it a couple of times. How many times have you watched it? I've watched it three times since that time. So we watched it together and two more times. Also, I love that. I've watched it a couple of times. And you were wrong because you actually watched it three times. Three times. It's a few times. That's yes, what that yeah, is. Yeah. I, wow. Okay, so yeah. two seconds of non-spoiler stuff. What do you think? Um, yeah, go see it. Amazing. Fantastic. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's what you need to do. If you haven't watched it, um, you're probably not. Don't get me wrong. Mm. It's a superhero movie. They all have problems. I will say one, just superheroes movies don't always end the greatest. Mm-hmm. And also when you have a 22 movie long franchise. Oh, correct. And you have to like bring it to an end. The ending's amazing. That's the, the way thing. they ended it is perfect. It couldn't couldn't have been. I couldn't have asked more, for more. Mm. Couldn't have been done better. That's how you end it. Exactly. I told you as well. The first thing I said when I got here was like there was stuff they did bad. I would do it differently, and we're mm-hmm. going to talk about. That. We are. Exactly. One question I want to ask just before we get started for everybody who wants to write in the comment section because I really want to know the answers to yeah. this. How do you think it was handled with all the time jumping and the rules and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Because there's stuff we're going to bring up in this video and stuff I want to ask you as well. I haven't asked you before. I want to know what you guys think about the whole Captain America thing and how the, the time jump worked. Yeah, what, oh, yeah, yeah. How you figured it out because there's a lot of questions to be asked there. A little bit of information for you. This movie cost Marvel $356 million to make. There's a lot of talent in this movie. Mate, so this is <laughs> probably all of that was Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. is $65 million a pop. Exactly. So, exactly. so I mean, I'm surprised how cheap they made this. Exactly. That's quite cheap. That's him, a bargain. <laughs> yeah, him and all the other, just those names. Yeah. I bet that's half the budget. But exactly. Anyway, okay, so it cost a lot. What did it make? It did a really big opening exactly weekend, first weekend so it already made th- that money back in pre-sales so before thursday it made that money back that's amazing exactly yeah. and then on the opening weekend they made 350 million domestically in the u.s and then they made 1.22 billion well, internationally opening weekend. opening weekend mate this is gonna be a three billion dollar movie seriously after they sell blu-rays t-shirts all the toys big. I mean, look, Tons we, of we always knew that this had a shot to be the biggest movie ever. Yeah. Uh, fine. I didn't know it was going to be 1.2 billion opening billion. weekend. This is going to be a $3 billion movie. This is going to be. I, I think we're calling it now. Yeah, amazing. All right, so what we're going to be doing here today, we're going to go through completely all through the plot points of Avengers Endgame, talking about it, saying everything we loved about it and stuff like we that. We have a new format. We're going to attempt a review that stays on topic. Yeah. And goes chronologically <laughs> from the beginning of the movie... Through to the middle, <laughs> and then bizarrely enough, the end. It's funny, because we always have that objective. We just seem to go off somewhere. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And then, at the end, we're going to rank all 22 of the Marvel movies in our order. Kind of very briefly, and then have a little debate about that the stuff. That's probably be a separate video, man. You know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how we'll it goes. See. But let's get talking about Avengers Endgame. Where we start off in Buttfuck, Alabama. I don't know where don't we know start where he off. Lives. He, they never mention where Haw- he lives. Hawkeye <laughs> lives somewhere. <laughs> exactly, he lives somewhere, and he's there with his daughter and his two sons <laughs> and like... Velma from Scooby Doo. That's yeah. all I ever know her from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's uh, he's teaching her daughter how to shoot an arrow. He's like, hey, Hawkeye, go on. You can try. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can do that. It's perfect you, Middle you America. Can, exactly. Yeah. He's got the ankle monitor on there from the so- so- Sokovia Accords yeah, yeah. and stuff that's like it, that. It, yeah. Very, very uh, like tied it all together and stuff like that. And at that moment, Velma turns over and says, "Hey guys, dinner's ready. Stop shooting. Would you like mustard or mayonnaise on your hot dogs?" Has mayo. What? <laughs> and the daughter says that's like. <laughs> 
who puts who puts mayonnaise yeah. on a on a hot dog? I remember thinking that. And I was like, what the hell? Anyway, let's. That's probably right. why she got so snapped. Then, but then Hawkeye, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hawkeye like turns away to get something, turns back, and his family's gone. Exactly. Like fade all, to black intro. All we ever see is uh, so there's just a, a bit of ashes where his daughter yeah. was, and he doesn't. He hasn't he been has in no the idea. in the Infinity War. It's like, he, have you not watched Infinity War, dude? Come on, this is what happened. So he's running around zigzagging, sort of like. Where where are you going? Yeah, where have you yeah. guys gone? I don't know their names, but they're like, uh, uh, boy, boy, and uh, and wife. Boy. <laughs> exactly. And he goes, where is it? And then it's like, zoom, cut to black. Yeah. You see the, the, the intro right there. Yeah, so he's, he's there with his family. They're doing the perfect happy American family thing. He turns away for a second, turns back. There's just some ash in the wind. Exactly. Oh, one thing that I didn't mention before we get to that. So you know the classic Marvel Studios intro where they show the... Um, the comic book style yes, flicking yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. I didn't notice this on the first one. I don't know if you noticed it. It seemed a little bit empty because they They've only had the characters that They've weren't snapped, snapped in great. that intro. That's great. Usually they do something little cool touches. for these things little like touches. that. And I was like, this one looked ordinary the first time I saw it, but that was really cool. That's cool. I didn't notice that. Yeah. And then we move on to Iron Man. Iron yeah. Man and Nebula playing on their ship. The what was the ship called there from oh, Guardians? No, I don't remember the name of the ship, but yeah. it's um, it's Quill's ship and yeah. whatnot. And they're playing like a a football game where they're sort of like flicking pieces of yeah. paper or aluminum because paper the ship's over each like other. Out of fuel or something. They're drifting. Exactly. There's no hope. They say something like a uh, it's been cracked and the fuel cells been hurt or something like yeah. that. I guess from Thanos bringing down a planet on them. They've or done their like best to like. I think they're saying they've done their best to repair it. They've got. They've extended hours. some their time, but they can't move anywhere. Yeah. It's, I think he did say there's 48 hours of flight time left, but the nearest 7-Eleven is like 13 billion light years away. So it's like, well, uh, we may as yeah. well just stay here then. <laughs> you know, that's what they're going to do. Exactly. Um, anyway, they're there. She, he's like offering her food and whatnot, but yeah. she's like, oh, I don't need it. You have this it and stuff like that. This is a really like good that. movie for like the humanizing of Nebula. Nebula mm. becomes like a real person and character wasn't a fan of her before but in this got a lot better I, I agree i didn't particularly like her especially from like guardians i didn't <clears> particularly <throat> like her but she's had a huge amount of character growth yes in this and i i saw like a, a the main characters like this ranked by screen time and she has as much time as than uh not than as much time as thor yes yes yeah, she has it's never a bad thing. No, I'm never like I, I'm bored of Nebula. Yeah, she was really good in it, so I'm happy about about yeah. that. They've they've allocated screen time pretty appropriately. Yeah. So next scene is that you see uh, Tony Stark with his mashed up helmet there yeah, just yeah, after the big battle. Love and letter. Letter. Records that little. So I'm sorry to pick exactly Pepper. exactly. I was hoping to pull off one last thing, and you know, it turns yeah. out I couldn't and whatnot. And he looks. Really bad. He looks like he's he's, he's wasted getting away to, a bit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't show until he gets back to Earth. But when I saw him there, I was like, oh, he's lost a, a couple of kg. Oh, yeah, you know, he's he's lost like a really... bit. But when he gets back to Earth, it's like he's half his bloody weight right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Insane. Anyway, uh, Nebula sees him after he's made that message, after he's fallen asleep, puts him in the chair in like the sort of uh, captain's chair and whatnot, lets him fall asleep, goes away. Yeah. Then you see that glow. Yeah. That glow, glow in the distance on his face, <clears throat> and then he starts waking up and. Says, oh, and it's Captain Marvel. Yep. Captain Marvel comes in, flying across space. Don't know how she knew they were, they were there. I guess, you know, from the um, the scene that got teased before Avengers Endgame came out, which actually wasn't in the movie, you know where they show the pager going and then it turns off? Yeah, yeah. And eventually she comes back and says, where's Fury? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm guessing that's what happened. And they said they went to Titan or whatever before. And yeah, that's I where guess, he like, is, she, something she like that. probably came to Earth. Found the Where, where's everybody? We don't know, but these guys went to fight the guy that's caused all this problem. Exactly. Here's the, the, in, the info on the ship. You can find the ship like this. Exactly. And she went and found the ship. Exactly, because she brings them right back to Stark Compound. This like, right there, Well, yeah. it must mean that they spoke before. Yeah. Anyway, um, she brings him back, uh, just sort of like Superman sort of uh, drops the Boeing 747 from like Superman yeah, Returns, yeah, sort yeah, of thing yeah. like Drops him down and... Immediately, he's like coming out. Nebula's got him, and he's like frail, yeah. proper frail. And I, I feel really down at you this point. You have to remember, like, from Infinity War, which was a few years ago now, mm -hmm. but for Tony, it's recent few yeah. weeks, right? Yeah. Dude's been stabbed in the whatever this bit of you is called. Yeah, guts, a, a central cavity. <laughs> he's, he's been stabbed. That's yeah. pretty bad. They obviously have run out of f food and fuel and stuff. Yeah. Like, he hasn't eaten in probably... Let's say it's a week or two yeah. on. 
because it, it looks like where he's got a bit of extra growth. Yeah, and, yeah. and so, and it's stressful when he's lost half of everybody. They lost the fight. Yeah. It's over. We lost. Yeah. Like, that's going to take its toll on Iron Man, the savior, exactly. like one of the saviors of the universe, let alone mankind, right? So, he's down. Mm -hmm. He's. I think it's fair to say he's probably a bit depressed. Yes. Isn't eating. That moment where he comes out and Captain Rex sort of holds him and whatnot yeah. and he says, I lost the kid. I yeah, yeah, yeah. teared oh, up. That got me. There are a few like lump in the throat moments. Yeah, that was moment number one. Woman number one right there. <laughs> that was moment number one. I was like, yeah. oh. And then Captain Rex said, we all lost. Yeah. It's just that moment. Then Pepper comes over and obviously she's... Could you imagine losing your husband essentially, not knowing if he survived, he's dead probably, yeah. then seeing him come back and whatnot? Yeah. It's going to be a roller coaster of emotions for her. That's yeah, spoiler absolutely. alert. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, heavy spoilers? Yeah, or? heavy spoilers in this. Okay, um, next scene was, if I'm correct, so they, they get together, they're sitting in that conference room where everyone's sort of standing around just after he's gotten off the ship, after he's got like an yeah, IV Black Widow. Him. Exactly. Um, everybody that's left. Everybody that survived more. Mark Ruffalo, everyone like that yeah. sitting there. And they're talking to us like, what happened? Uh, so, what yeah. can we do now? Has uh, Thanos given you any clues as to where he's gone yeah. next and things like that? And Tony goes out on a full rage. He's like, you oh, said yeah, we would snaps. be together. Yeah. You said we'd be together, Cap. And you weren't there. I needed you. You weren't there. Past tense. You weren't there. Yeah. And he just goes rebound. He takes off his like chest sort of nano piece and he's just like, here, take this. Yeah. That's like, because he's really pissed yeah, off. He, he, he's like, I'm out, I'm done. Exactly. Collapses to the floor. But there is actually a funny joke before that. So just before he uh, he asks a question and Rocket turns around and says, actually, you know, we, we all kind of lost someone. There's like, until that moment just there, I thought you was a builder bear <laughs> so, so, And I cracked up. I was like, yep, that was funny. that's about right. <clears throat> anyway, he collapses on the floor. They put him in a bed in the next room. And they say he's going to be out for a couple of yeah. hours. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Captain Marvel then just goes, right. Let's do this then. She exits the room going, I'm going to kill Thanos. And they're all like, look, we're a team player around here. We all play as a team. You have a grudge, obviously, but we've all lost a bunch of stuff. So maybe we should formulate a plan, blah, blah, blah. Captain Marvel knows she's one of the most powerful beings. She's like Superman, but for the MCU. Right, exactly. She is, literally. That's who she is. She's like, well, I'll just, I'll do this, right? Because mm -hmm. that's her, like her job. And the, the rest of the Avengers say, look, you probably could do it. Yeah. But we're kind of invested in this. Don't yeah. go and take this away from us. We we need to be there. We need the closure on it. And it's not like help's going to hurt you here. Yeah. Because yeah. he is <clears throat> the mad titan Thanos that literally became a god. He's yes. god. As far as they're, they're aware, he's now god. Yep. So, then I guess they just... They, they track him. How do they find him? I so the way that they works is that, so Nebula then turns around and says, Nebula. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know his plan because he's been telling me for years what's going to happen. When he he's gonna, to me, he would talk. Yeah, that's he would retire to a planet and a garden and whatnot. And then say, but they don't know exactly where that planet is yeah. until Rocket comes along and pulls out like a hologram and goes, so when Thanos snapped his fingers, there was a huge cosmic energy that went throughout the universe, never seen it before. Yeah. And it happened again two days ago. They said. Bear in mind, so this that's is where he is. Five minutes into the video. Yes. Into yeah. the movie, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Five minutes into the video, Rocket's pinned down where he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they go. Yeah. They go. They just get up and go. And I To be fair, they didn't have a, a ship that was capable to go there until they had the... Was it Milano? I think it's called a Milano or something. It's something like that. Peter yeah, Quill's ship, Milano. Milano or something like that. Um, his ship. So now they have that back, they can sort of yeah. repair it and they then go off. They basically, it. they repair it and they, they get there. Yes. And then... Well, actually, I think just before that, sorry, um, just before that, so they go, has anyone ever been to space before? And they, and some of the guys, you know, the humans are like, yeah, I have. And they goes, well, don't throw up on my ship. And then they go yeah. through it. And that moment where they go through the pool, you see the title sequence where it's like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. underwhelming. It didn't look as good, but still. I think they did that on purpose. You think so? Because they lost. They I lost. guess they're it's not depressing the time. They're not the heroes of the world. They're not the heroes of the galaxy. They fucked up. They the lost. Universe. They're the guys that got beat by Thanos. Yeah. So it's not... They're not the champions. It's the da, da, you tried. Yeah. Good for you. Solid you point. Know? Solid yeah. point. So yeah. and so it's a quite a and it's supposed to be. It's quite depressing. Mm -hmm. And then the next scene is a huge upset because yes. they find the planet. Yeah. Captain Marvel goes down and comes straight back up. Just just before that. Yeah. So uh, Thanos is uh, walking in his field and you oh, can yeah. tell he's limping. He's, he's limping. bad. He's, he's damaged, damaged in he's some hurt. sort. Of, I mean, there was the axe in the chest, which somehow he recovered from. I guess it's part, you get like. Let's assume it's a wish, right? It's a yeah. god wish type deal. Yeah. So he's like, 
I wish for half the thing. Oh, by the way, I want to be okay. And I want to be here. okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you just keep adding on to your wish. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, he's uh, walking through the gardens. He's pulling out some weird looking yeah. fruits. And you can see he's the, become the a gauntlet. Farmer. Yes, exactly. Like the gauntlet's crushed onto his hand. Crushed. Like you can't and that take it. whole arm's like burnt. Yeah, burnt right? to a crisp. Yeah. And what's interesting is he has all these crops. Mm -hmm. And his armour is like on a scarecrow. Post. Yeah. It's been taken off. It hasn't been worn. He's like at peace. He's sort of like giving he's it up. He's yeah. done. And... Um, and so, the, the, the so they, they they arrive in space. Captain Marvel goes down, comes straight back up, and she's like, "It's just him. There's no armies. There's no yeah. ships. It's just He's him. All alone on that planet. It's just him." And then so they get so they go down, and there's no epic fight. Really, no, there's a, it's a small a, tussle. If you blinked, you could have missed that whole engagement. Yeah. Captain Marvel comes in, takes him out, some pulls Brazilian one hand, suit. exactly, yeah. a storm around his neck. Yeah. Um, Hulk Buster armor comes out from the underneath the yeah. ground, grabs his arm. Um, so I can't remember, was it a uh, War Machine grabs the other something arm or something like, like that. that? And then out of nowhere, Thor yeah. just comes on with Stormbreaker, chops off his fucking well, hand. There's something just before that. Go on. Where so they they have him, you know. Tied down, yeah, yeah, and they say, "Look, where are the stones?" And he explains that he used the stones to destroy the stones. They don't exist, so he, yeah. so you couldn't undo what he done did. Yeah, can't be undone. Yeah, the stones don't exist anymore. It's like I've reduced them to atoms. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, well, then what do you do if you thought kill him? And exactly. He's dead. he's dead. Five, six minutes into the movie, A brutal death yeah. as well. Cuts his head off. Cuts his head off, and I see jugular like blood oh, yeah. going out and stuff like that. Fucking all over Nebula's face yeah. and Nebula's like that. So there was like, um, people were like, oh, he's lying. Nebula's like, I know my father. He's, yeah. If he's one thing, he's, he's not a liar. Yeah. And so that... six minutes into the movie, they, th they found Thanos and killed him. Bearing in mind, he doesn't have the Infinity Stones. The Infinity yeah. Stones make him more powerful, right? Yeah. So, okay. And then we were both there, because was it the first time you saw it with me? Yeah. Yeah, we were both there and we leaned in and we're like, I wasn't expecting that. It was the moment of Game of Thrones where Ned yeah. Stark gets his car. Yeah. We're like, this is the big bad. Interesting. Guy. This, this is, is the big bad. <laughs> How is They've this just, gonna... Like, they lost the fight but killed the big bad. I'm yeah. like, what? What do we do now? Yeah. And then time skip. Yeah. And exactly. Time skip. And it's what did they say? Five years? Is it five years? Five years. It's like five years later. Yeah. Five years later, and we sort of like come back in. Cap has is at like a meeting for for people like exactly. survivors just trying to get back to normal daily life. Exactly, talking um, with a bunch of people and to a little bit of no, um, information there as well is that uh, Joe Russo was one of the people that oh, were cool, in there, cool. and also one other person as well was the guy who created Thanos. Uh, let me see, Jim Starling, the guy. Oh, who created, cool. So he was the other guy in glasses. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool to know. I didn't know. That's a yeah. nice little like touch. A well, nod to them, isn't it? I it's think quite it interesting because like the world has you know Thanos's version was oh everything's like a, a utopia now. Yeah. The world hasn't really recovered. It looks a lot like The Last of Us almost. Yes. But don't get me wrong, The Last of Us is most of everybody's dead. This is yeah. half. But there are a lot of places where there's a lot of rubbish, a lot of cars just by the wayside and covered in mould and, and you stuff. And got the feeling of it as well. It was very quiet and very still. Yeah, it was. Everything, I mean, there were people around, but it yeah, seemed like, very sparse. Life, very sparse. It's, like, it's sort of like life's getting back to normal, but what do you do when half of everything is gone? Like normal can only be so normal. Exactly. And and a lot of stuff's Very just well a lot of stuff's just being like, look, that's not we need to focus on this yeah. stuff. So it's like sweeping up leaves, is that really the most important thing? Exactly. Therefore the roads are completely littered with right, everything. Exactly. Um and so you you see this image of Earth and it's not what Thanos promised at all. This no. isn't a good thing. No. And that's an interesting point as well to bring it back. So you know of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. You know when they get on that holographic sort of lineup and they say, oh, this person's this, the rat is this, the tree is that. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to Gamora, it actually says on the screen, a little Easter egg, it says, uh, last of her kind. So like, it, almost extinct. Whereas in the story, the uh, Gamora comes to Thanos through he goes to her planet and wipes out half, half the, population, the population, but he never goes back to check on that planet yeah, to yeah. see whether or not it's thriving, whether or yeah, not anything so happens. This is the thing. He, so that's there's the thing. a scene. I think it's Infinity War. Yeah, it's Infinity War where he says, "Look, your planet's a utopia now, and nobody, the children there don't know hunger." Hmm. He hasn't been there for twenty. He hasn't years. been there. He doesn't. He's saying all of this because his mind is that's constructing this thing. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, exactly. So, um, so it's a time skip. Exactly. The next step after that is uh, we go to a shot of a busted old van and you see on there, um, what's a Lang. Scott Lang? You see Lang right there. And it's, it's the, the, the same... The from the end of Ant-Man and Wasp. Ant-Man and Wasp, exactly. So At the end of Ant-Man and Wasp, if you haven't seen it, uh, at the very end he goes to like, the quantum realm mm -hmm. and he's supposed to be pulled out by uh, Dr. Pym, Professor Pym and... Uh, and Hope. 
And Hope, yeah, yeah. Hottie McHot Hot. Yes. Uh, but they get snapped. And then there's just he's just stuck and he's in stuck there. there. Yeah. And um, and I guess after the snapping, they just sort of uh, they they just put all of his stuff, shut all this stuff he, into I a, a lockup. He's presumed snapped. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh yeah, he finds his name when he, he comes. He finds back. his so name. He's presumed bit, yeah. dead. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Um, but then a rat just walks over the controls, which is the most funniest yeah. way that he was brought back. Yeah. It's just like a rat just walks over the controls, yeah. and then he just gets shot out of the van into the the rest yeah. of the lockup. He gets powered and up, he's like, and he gets shot back out. What? And it, but it's it's the time skip. The thing mm. is, uh, if you don't know quantum physics, uh huh. Obviously, I do. I've seen that. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Basically, he was in there for a few hours. <laughs> yeah. Comes back five years later. The snappings happened. He has no idea. So what does he do? He goes and finds the Avengers. Yeah. Whoever's left, and they explain how it worked, mm -hmm. what happened, and you know what he should do now. And he, being Ant Man, yeah, just. And not being afraid to say stupid stuff says, well, what if we did time travel? Yeah. So just before we get to that bit, I want to, because we discovered one scene that I thought was really important. So just after he gets out of there, he walks over. So he goes through down the streets and he sees everything's in chaos mm. and whatnot. And he goes over and he sees one kid. He's like, hey, kid, what happened? The kid just looks at him and, like, and then walks off. And then he goes to where he thinks his daughter lives. And his daughter's all grown up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very, yeah. very touching scene did, right there. Yeah, yeah, just sort of that. like, oh, Daddy, is that you? Yeah. And they're just like, Cassie? You're, and they're very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're, so you're touching. Yeah, that was number two moment, by the way, of me just uh, Yeah, yeah that had a bit of choking up. And then there was one other scene as well where he then, oh, what's that? And then we cut over to the uh, Avengers compound. Yeah, yeah, and he says, is this an old video? Yeah, and so just before that as well, there's oh, okay, one more okay, scene. Okay. Right? So uh, just because I've seen it so many times. Yeah, you've seen it right? three, I've only yeah. seen it one. So they go to the Avengers compound and it's uh, Scarlett Hansen making herself a sandwich. Yeah, she yeah, makes yeah. herself a peanut butter sandwich and then she sits down and there's like holographic council right there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's Rocket, Nebula, War Machine, uh, Captain Marvel. Um, what's the, the lady's name from uh, Black Panther? Oh, her, uh, the uh, Oye. I can't, I, can't I can't remember her name, but her, she was there. And they're all she's talking. She's the one who's there at the final fight with Thanos when everybody gets snapped. And exactly. she sees, um, she's Black Panther get ashed away. Exactly. And they're all there. They're all talking about affairs because all they can really do is the thing that they know, which is try to protect the manage world. Everything. Even though there really isn't much left yeah, to protect. Stuff, yeah. Exactly. And she brings up one thing that is actually quite important. So Namor, if you don't know, is a character. He's a big, big bad guy who controls earthquakes and stuff like that. And she mentions there's an earthquake oh, underneath yeah. the African plane. And they plane. say, well, what are we going to do? Nothing. So it's an earthquake. It's an earthquake. You don't do anything to yeah, an earthquake. Yeah, yeah. So there's a little hint there about what's going to possibly come in the future and stuff oh, like, like that. Oh, for two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. cool. That's cool. That was really Ooh, nice cool Easter egg. Nice little yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, they all get lost because there's really nothing you can do and there's yeah. nothing to talk about. And then Cap's there. Yeah, and uh oh wait, no, just before that. So Captain and Marvel. How many times have you seen this movie? So many times. Captain mm. Marvel, she's there with her ridiculous haircut, by the way. Oh yeah. I yeah, can't yeah. stand that haircut. Yeah, yeah. And she says something decent where it's like Rocket says, So where have you been? What have mm. you been doing? We've been here protecting. And then she goes, there's lots of planets in the universe and not all of them have you guys. Yeah. And it's like, okay, yeah, fair point, fair point there. Anyway, they move off and War Machine stays there and says, yo, I've been investigating over here and there's been like these uh, rival gangs that have been killing each other in Tokyo and stuff like that. Yeah. Sorry, Mexico all cartel world, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. It's like, and they're like, oh, it's a, uh, Scarlett Hansen's like, oh, it's probably just a, a rival cartel. He interrupts her and says, no. It's Barton. Yeah, it's Barton. It's Barton. We, I know him. I know his work and I've seen it's It's him. It's yeah. him. And then she he goes... Broke bad. It's, exactly. we we being told, he loses his family, he breaks bad. He breaks really bad. Mm -hmm. Really bad. He's still doing good work. He's yeah. not a bad guy, but he's not the good guy Exactly. No more. He's killing people yeah. now. For, and um, he's... So, the way he... The way War Machine describes it is like bodies piled up, like in the walls and stuff. Like yes. He's... He's bad a, a body count. Yeah. Yeah. He um he says uh, it's like you know keeps talking and Scarlett Hansen goes can you tell me where he's gonna be next sort yeah. of like with a tear in her eye you can sort yeah, of see yeah. she's really affected she's by this. She's basically saying I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go stop after him. Yeah. He goes okay turns around and the moment he turns around the, the screen goes off she like breaks into tears and she's like holding her face like so that. I have to say quite hard I didn't think Scarlett Johansson was the greatest actress mm -hmm. I don't get me wrong she's gorgeous and she's good enough yeah but I never thought she was that great this movie completely changed my mind on that 100 sells she sells that role so well i even said i actually whispered to you straight out of Lena, yeah. i was like since when could she act like this yeah 
Like it, it really, really, I, I genuinely believe that person is in that pain. That was, it really was She's fantastic. Great. And then so Captain America comes in and kind of catches up with her. Exactly, yeah. And he's doing his, you know, the same thing that Captain does. He always tries to be happy and looks for the silver lining and stuff. So I just saw a, a whale going over the bridge. Yeah. And it's like, in the Hudson, it's like, yeah, there's fewer ships now. There's fewer, and she's like, cleaner. if you're trying to get me to see the brighter side of things, you're about to get a peanut butter sandwich thrown at you. Yeah. And it's like, okay, let's just stop there. Anyway, they're talking a little bit, catching up, and then bloop, 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 you hear like the in intercom. As well. yeah, great yeah. intercom. And there's Lang. Exactly. Ant-Man saying, guys, open up. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. And Cap obviously assumes this is a five-year-old video that's just popped up. Yeah. And he's like, well, is this an old video? And, and Black she's Widow like, just, she's like, that's the gate. The front gate. That's the front gate. Right now. Now. He comes in, he's in complete disarray. Obviously, they've caught him up and they said, Look, this is what happened. He's like pacing back and forwards. What the hell am I doing? And then he's like, He realizes I'm... that he spent five hours yep. and came back five years yeah. later. That time is different. And what does he, he calls it a time heist eventually? Yeah, eventually. It will eventually yeah. become his idea is, Look, I'm only Ant Man, but if we had some really smart people on this. He asked the question first, like, Does any of you guys know quantum physics? It's like, oh, only for, for casual conversation. <laughs> it's like, yeah, all of us do. <laughs> One thing I do love is throughout this movie, all the people that aren't quantum physicists yeah. use time travel movies yep. as they're like, look, everybody knows this is how it works. Bruv, they shit on Back to the Future, which I want to say fuck you yeah. because that movie he's, is awesome. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, There's a point where Tony Stark even says to, uh, to Lang, he's like, are you just quoting... Please tell me that all of your ideas aren't based on Back to the Future. Is yeah. that? No, no. No, it's quantum physics. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it's quite quite <laughs> anyway, so yeah. what he says is that he goes on and goes, look, I was in the, the quantum realm for five hours uh, and it turned out to be five years. What if we could somehow manipulate that and actually use it to our advantage to go like, back? Because he says, time. look, I went in at one time and it came out at a different time. Yeah. What if I go in, what if we go in and come back out at a time that's before when I went in? Mm -hmm. Like, he doesn't know, but why can't we do that? Yeah. Who do we go to to ask about that? Well, we know a guy. Exactly. The smartest Tony. guy that we know. Tony. I love the bit where he goes, like, are you talking, a Cap goes, are you talking about a time machine? And he goes, no, 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 no. Okay, yes, the time yeah, machine. Because <laughs> <time laughs> no. that's really the only way to describe it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, so they get together and they head over to uh, Tony's... Stark. Exactly. Place. New Stark sort of cottage by the lake and whatnot. Yeah. And it looks beautiful. He looks like he's settled down it's to a idyllic. nice place. Exactly. It, like the, where we come in yeah. is like, oh, the world's not that great. Mm -hmm. At the When we meet Tony, it's like, well, actually, some things have worked out for the best. Tony yes. isn't just this driven businessman now. He's settled down with his family. Yeah. And when I say family, he has a kid. Yes. A very adorable. cute. Adorable. So cute. Adorable. And then do you want to let the ladies and gentlemen know what happened as soon as you saw how adorable she was? So so he goes out. He's holding like a new Iron Man helmet. Yeah. He says he it's a present out. for your for your mother. He so. goes out to a tent. And I can't remember the kid's name, but he's like, hey, look, come out. And she comes out with another Iron Man helmet and a glove. And she goes something like, identify yourself or be disintegrated. Yeah. You know, and it's so the most cute. adorable. It's so cute. I literally just went... Oh. and leaned into you and I was like he's dead yeah and literally at that moment I was like he's dead and you said no 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 she's just a cute kid I think because I cemented in my mind surely they can't kill Iron Man surely there's going to be a way she's gonna, he's going to retire off to himself in a cottage in the woods like we're seeing right here and that's going to be the end of it but as soon as you said it I was like fuck no, you, you, you're, like, you're like she's cute but maybe not that cute and then there's another scene where he like tucks her into bed and, and she you... does the thing where she's like, Mommy told me to come and save you. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. I want popsicles. And yeah, I'm like, oh my God, she's and too cute. You're like, you're like, she's you're right. too cute. <laughs> she's, she's so cute. It's like, it's just, it's like watching death hanging out there. Exactly. She's exactly. so cute. And that's happened relatively early in the movie. Let's say within the first half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So we have the, the rest of the two hours and a half knowing that Tony's going to die yeah. at the end of this. And the thing is, there's plenty of moments nearing the end where you're like, actually, this is going surprisingly well. Yep. You know, there's, there's backup here this is happening and you're kind of like maybe he's just got a really cute kid yeah they give you that hope so then the next thing happens is that they're talking with tony and they're saying like you know we need somebody who can think up this stuff who can do the math work for this um the time heist as they're he's, calling and he's it just like flat out no he's can't just like no, done. i've got this family i've got the perfect outcome i can't risk that yeah so, so he's, he's like, like he's like one it can't be done no two even if it could make it work 
I'm like, I, I won. Mm -hmm. Like, as bad as this is, he got he got Pepper, he yeah. got the kid, they live on the on a lake. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. It's what you would think of as like a great that's a great life. Yeah. And he's still a billionaire. Yeah. You know, like it might not be what the money is worth, but he has his intelligence as well, which is his most he's, prized possession. He, He's ma it, as far mm. as this bad alternate like future goes, he's made it. He's, he's made he's it done well. <clears throat> so being Tony, he says like, "Look, no, I'm not giving it up," and they leave. Mm -hmm. And I come, they go off, and Tony just is like, "Look, I will boot up Friday and just start playing with some designs. See yeah. if it's even possible. At least let yeah. me see if it's possible." And he starts playing with it. Yeah, but he's Tony Stark. So of course he solves it. Exactly. It can be done. He goes he round. Can do it. He can do it. Exactly. He goes on, he does a few calculations for one night and he manages to crack time travel. He's Tony Stark. Just, just straight up like that. He's Tony Stark. Anyway, then he what goes over to Pepper and he's sort of like, so what are you reading? And she's like, I'm reading composting. So, like, so what's new in the world of composting? And before she even gets to finish, she's sort of like, I've cracked it by the way. Time travel. Yeah, I can and do it. It's like a huge thing that he just yeah, like, I can do it. Time travel. I've cracked it. Anyway, she get delivers. Travel. And like a heartfelt message, sort yeah. of like, so you can, you've got a really good life. Like everything's turned out good, but not for everyone else. And you won't be able to rest knowing that's what he says. That you he, can sa do he says, because he, he knows that no one really knows the rules of time travel. Mm -hmm. They go back and change anything. He can lose everything that he has. Yeah, that's his whole world. So he's like, I, th I feel like I should just put this in a lockbox and throw it into the river. Yep. And she goes, Yeah, but will you sleep? Yeah. And she doesn't mean that night. She means like ever. Will you rest? He wouldn't he would never. He's a the thing about Tony Stark, as much as he's a douchebag and all that stuff, he's a hero. And the thing about heroes is if they can help, they help. Yep. And and he when we're talking about can you bring back half of everybody? He has the power he to can't so. not do it. Exactly. Um, after that scene, actually just before that scene, before it goes in, it was uh, they go and see the Hulk, sing our diner. He's sort of mixed himself with Banner and uh, yeah, yeah. Hulk. So time skip Hulk is it's Hulk sized Banner. Yes, exactly. And basically he figured out that instead of the Hulk being this thing that's, that's like occupying the body with him, yeah. it's part of him. He and the Hulk are the same guy. Yeah. And... Um, it's Which has like, kind of ruined his chances with Natalie yeah. because now his strong is probably did, like, yeah. like really big. But she's just like, like it's all like the natural <laughs> conclusion. Maybe she likes that. I don't know. In uh, in the first Avengers, where he's like, look, that's my secret. I'm always angry. Yeah, that's sort of the natural evolution yeah. of that, right? Yeah, I have to say, I, I particularly hated the Hulk. It wasn't. I didn't like it. Yeah, I preferred it either or. Yes, just, much agreed. like how Fing says, uh, "Was uh, what's her name? One of the Valkyries uh, from uh, the chick." Yeah, yeah. yeah, she says it. She's fantastic, by the way. She's very um, good. She I she goes. I, I think I preferred either. you either way. Yeah. Well, everyone pretty much because also the Hulk's a bit. He's quite cringy. Like he dabs at one point yeah. with these kids. I didn't. I didn't like the Hulk. Yeah. He's also a bit. He's a bit too limp wristed. About he's he's very weak actually like yeah. he's got infinite strength and he's a bit weak when it comes to doing stuff he's he's just too wishy-washy yeah he's not like a hero really anymore anyway jumping forward a little bit so hulk and the, the guys they're trying to figure out time travel so they whatnot. go well, so the reason they go they go to hulk is because banner is the second smartest person they know yeah so who do you do who do you go to if you don't get stark you get banned. Exactly. They try their best. They try a few things and it doesn't work out. No. He goes into a slightly so younger have, version have, of him. Uh, Lang go exactly. in, in his Ant-Man suit because he, he's done it before. And he goes into the van, yep. like the, the, the machine in the van, yep. comes back out as a kid, goes back in, comes back out as an old man, goes yep. back in, comes back out as a baby, yep. comes goes back in, comes back out as himself. And he <laughs> goes, oh, I think one of me's peed my pants. <laughs> Or maybe I did. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it was the older me or the younger me. Or me, me. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very funny. And Banner's just like, time travel. That's right. I'm counting this as a win. It's yeah. like, no, that's not a win, mate. Go back. Yeah. Anyway, Luckily Captain America. Enough. Oh, sorry. Captain America goes outside and he's like, obviously like, fuck, what the hell yeah. are we doing? We can't do And this. luckily enough. In comes Tony. Exactly. Who does the, like I said, I did say he was a douchebag. He does the pulls up too far. Reverses that back. was funny to me. It was that sort of like me. this build up of like suspense. Or... Yeah. And then he overshoots. And he it's overshoots. Like, God damn it. But this is the thing. He overshoots on purpose. Like, yeah. Makes him wait. <laughs> Comes back. Does the window down. He's like, I cracked it. Because <laughs> of course he cracked it. He's Tony Stark. And yeah. so he basically says, look, I'm going to... We need to talk about this. Yeah. And I'll do it. My priorities are... I'm going in this to try and save as many people as I can. Yeah. But uh, if I... But if I have to sacrifice anything, I won't. 
That's yeah. That. So he literally says, "I've got to protect what I've not, got. I've got to protect what I've got. If it's a choice between turning it back or keeping it the way it is, I'm keeping it the way it is. Yeah. The, my what we're doing is bringing going back to a place to, so that we can bring back everyone now right without now. changing what's happened. Yeah. Because he wants to keep Pepper and the kid. Exactly. And, and he is under no. He he lays it out. He's like, mm -hmm. if it's a choice, I keep the kid. Yeah. I keep I keep my life. Yeah. When it's not a choice. And he sort of doesn't say I'm anything to him because he knows that other. that's the right yeah. choice right there. He's like, I'm not giving one up for the other. It's not yeah. happening. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, which I don't like that. Yeah. I like these. Like, no, we have to bring it to work. He's like, no. If we cannot do this perfectly, it doesn't get done. Yeah. I, and in fairness, the guy did figure out time travel, so let's give him one. Yeah, yeah he probably one. knows what he's about. Anyway, let's skip forward now. So after he gives, yeah, he gives Captain America his shield and whatnot, he manages yep. to make. But let's skip forward to New Asgard, where Hulk and Rocket have gone over. They're gonna. It's just a fishing town, man. Exactly, it's just a fishing town on the coast of what looks like Scotland. To it be doesn't fair. look like it, um, it. But it's actually the same place that uh, if you watch Thor, Dar uh, sorry, Ragnarok and whatnot, it's where Odin was sent and he yes, died on those place. cliffs and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Which is funny because Thor now looks like he looks like Odin. Well, in the face. In the face. Everywhere else, kind of not. And that's hilarious to me. So he goes, they go in and they see Thor. And Thor's like, guys, how you doing? And like that. And you turn around. He's the only shirtless guy in this whole movie. Yeah, yeah. And it's Fat Thor. And he's, it's Fat. Fat Thor. Fat suit. I never know I needed Fat Thor until it happened. <laughs> so I will say, I didn't like Hulk. Yeah. I don't mind Fat Thor. What? I only don't mm -hmm. mind God. My problem was Fat Thor is fine. Yeah. Like I love the scene skipping ahead a bit. They go to Asgard when yeah. it was when it was around. I love that mm -hmm. and his scenes with his mum and stuff. I don't mind I Fat Thor. Yeah. I do mind because because he, he's fat because he's depressed. Yeah. He's the guy that did or could have killed Thanos and failed. Yeah. And that has led him down this. He road. sees that as his fault. He, and yeah. and he's also like this old you know old world hero, right? Yeah. He didn't kill the bad guy. That weighs on him and he's just in depression and stuff. That's why he got fat and all the stuff, right? And he's sort of like living in a house with two flatmates, that sort of deal. Yeah. So I don't mind Fat Thor. I do mind Fat Thor when they also say they're like, oh, he's got fat because he's depressed and also he's comedy relief. You can't, he can't be one or the other. Okay, I see so your I don't, point. And also, it's the, my problem with the comedy relief is one, he's got to either be depressed or comedy relief, right? Because yeah. could, he could have just been fat and not depressed, right? He could have just got lazy. I could have bought that. The problem is you have guys like Lang, you have Ant-Man, yeah. the ultimate comedy relief guy. You He's don't great. need Thor He's to be great. your comedy relief. See, I like the, I think it was playing on from um, uh, Infinity War where he had that, you know, there was those moments where it was like, my mother killed, my father killed, and I had to kill my own sister. There were some and, then very... it, and then it's sort of like, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, never better. So yeah, it's like, that kind of he, thing. And I think they funny. kept it embellish on that. See, my problem was that they made him too much comedy relief and less of that. Okay. Because I like that. So I think he should have just been comedy relief or Fat Thor, mm -hmm. one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think he needed to do fat and comedy relief because then that takes away from the, he's depressed, yeah. which was actually quite a lot of com character growth. Yeah. Thor is one of the characters, like Nebula, that's grown a lot over yep. the movies that he's been in. Yep. And if you're gonna make him depressed, which I actually liked that, um, then, then just have him be fat and depressed. Don't make him comedy relief as well. It, it takes away from all that growth, I thought. Okay, I and really liked it. Did you see I, all the Big I, Lebowski really... uh, references? Have you seen that movie? I haven't seen it, no. He, there's a movie called The Big Lebowski, which is quite funny. It's really old with Jeff Bridges yeah. in it. And he he looks, he wears the exact same stuff. He talks very similar. It was, and I think one of the guys even calls him Lebowski. Okay. <laughs> he looks very like Jeff Lebowski in that. I really... he has an epic beard. Yeah. Because, you know, he's got this epic beard, long hair, because, you know, he had the short haircut. Yeah. And um, it was good. I like Thor. I'm a big Thor fan. I'm a big fan. Thor fan as well. And I, I really did like the fat Thor. I thought yeah, it was just something. It was very funny. It was very funny. Um, anyway, they managed to get him along by seducing him with beer. They were yep. like, come on, this, there's beer on the ship. Come over here and whatnot. And um, oh, one other thing as well. So you know when they're playing Fortnite in the, in the thing, right? Noob Master 69, actually a real P uh, PSN ID. And if you go to it in the bio, it says Thor ripped off my arms and shoved it up my ass. Because that's what he was threatening. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's funny. Anyway, they get that on the funny. thing and they go back to the compound. Everyone's together now, the team, quote unquote, because yeah. half of them are missing. Yep. And they all decide, okay, this is the plan. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go back in time. Um, 
we have to first perfect the the how. Can we do it? And yeah, 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 yeah. So they get uh, they make a suit. It's out of like nanotechnology. Like it's Tony the badass and white and red. Dude, I have to Which, say, those by the way, suits look amazing. I fucking bought a hoodie that was supposed to come in time for this, so I could wear it on the show and be like, look, I've got the quantum realm hoodie. Didn't come in. The time. Infinity War oh. ads <laughs> with those suits. People were like, oh, stupid suits. I was like, stupid. It was like amazing. amazing, amazing, and it was all tailored for each individual yeah, it person. Was great. Fantastic, it was great. fantastic. Um, anyway, they try it out and they go. Look, we have to, and they, this is where they lay out the rules, rules for time travel, which yeah. is where there's a lot of issues. So this is one of the <clears> things I think what they should have done mm -hmm. is not say this is how it works. They should have just said all the time travel rules that we know. No, that's not how that works. This isn't a game. This isn't yeah. a movie. Don't say how it does work. Just tell us that that's not the way it works. Because they mentioned it, that's the only reason why there's problems. There. I agree. But they did mention it. And they, they were saying basically anything that you do, if you go back in time, it doesn't affect your timeline. Yeah. If you go back in time and you change something, that's a different timeline. Your timeline still yeah. exists in the same way that So basically it was. what it says is, if, if you go back and change time. He was going, kill baby Thanos. Right. Like The time you are on continues because there's always a bit where you come back around and do this so you get this kind of loop and then yeah. it continues on right mm. what you change breaks off and that's a whole new timeline a whole new universe reality yeah. and things change new possibilities but, but what, you, what really they're saying is you create an entire universe at that moment you split it and then that universe has to deal with whatever change you made but your universe isn't changed nothing changes your universe the reason is if you went back and changed it You'd never exist. You'd yeah. never go back and change it. Like if you did take all those infinity stones and put it into your timeline and, and that's it and never like return it like they do yeah. in the end, then you might not have ever built the portal because things would have been okay. Exactly. And, then you, and then how would you get back? It just, it doesn't exactly. work and whatnot. So that's the idea and they cement those rules in. And they make a lot of jokes like, are you telling me everything was stupid? Like we've known a Back to the Future, Time Cop, yeah, Time yeah, yeah. This, Time That. And it goes, Die Hard. Wait, no, Die Hard is that. Nah, <laughs> anyway, they mention that and it's not. And then they introduce another factor as well, another limiting factor, which is the pin particles. They say we've only got one round trip each. That's a key Plus thing. two duos. That's a key thing which I like. Which is, This isn't a time machine. This yeah. is, we are going to the quantum realm. Yeah. You have to shrink down. That's why they have the suits. Mm -hmm. You have to Ant-Man shrink down. And then when you're there, you can, this is what Tony figures out. It's like quantum GPS. Yeah. I think that's even what he calls that's it. That's actually what he calls it, yeah. Um, which is once you're in the quantum realm, where you come out and when you come out is actually dependent kind of on where you are in the quantum realm. So mm -hmm. he figures out if you go to these locations, you will be in this physical location yep. at this time. Yeah. It's not like a time machine. It's, it's, well, it's literally time travel. You have to go somewhere to get yeah. where you're going. And that's why, which I like, the pin particle is important. Yeah. Because it costs a lot of pin particle to shrink down yeah. that small and get there. Mm -hmm. So I, I quite liked it, actually. They sit down. I, I didn't well. like the time travel rules. I like the, the technology they used to get there. They exactly. keep true to it, which is good. Yeah. They sit down. They sit down workable rules and then they worked in them so it was good yeah that was fine they figured that out they figured out yes it works everything's fantastic so let's skip ahead to where they go okay we figured out the how now let's figure out the when they yeah. need to find out when these stones were in certain places there was and then great, go get them there was a great scene i think was it tony somebody says oh well how are we going to get this stone and that stone we've only got enough um you know juice for like five trips you know one person one each person way. each yeah but five total things i think they had one each per person because you need one oh, yeah. per person, one each per person yeah. right and the guy's like well if you time it right there's three stones in new york exactly yeah so it requires uh, they, they worked it out that way because then at least they can have like teams of people so like yeah, three people right, go to the right, right, so they can go yeah, three yeah, teams yeah. three locations yeah. there's like 10 people and we'll have much yeah. as seven people or something like that, and they go but there's a really funny bit between that so when they're talking about everything in this whole like where all the stones were. They do it like a conference meeting. Yeah. Thor has to get up and talk about the reality stone. And first of all, he's like, he's dead in the corner. And he's just got his shades on. It's funny. And Ant-Man is hilarious in this. Because he's never heard any of this stuff before. He's just, yeah. he's got normal human, just on the side, doesn't know anything. Everyone else is just sort of like, well, we've fought big baddies. We've gone all across the universe. Yeah, we yeah, know yeah. all of this stuff. So they're kind of chilled. Yeah, he's like, I get really small sometimes. <laughs> That's it. That's it. When uh, Thor is describing everything, it's like, so, I had to, my grandfather hit, hit this on the planet of so and so, yeah. and uh, then I had to fight it away from Dark Elves, Ooh. <laughs> and Ant-Man, this entire time, is completely enraptured, like yeah, a yeah, little yeah. child, he's like, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, oh, okay, oh, 
It's, he's completely, and it's so adorable. But I love it. That's exactly why I thought Thor was. Shouldn't, they shouldn't have made him too much comedy relief because you have, yeah. because you have Lang there, because and he's so Paul Rudd's so good. He's so funny. So good at acting as well. That that, that was enough, and the fact that I think because trying to make Thor comedy relief as he does it, yeah. and then Lang as comedy relief as well. Sort of took away from Paul Rudd and Thor. One of them should have a comedy be. relief, if you see what I mean. Yeah. And obviously, of the two, it's got to be Paul Rudd because he's so good at it. Yeah. Now, look, again, I, I enjoyed liked I liked Thor, yeah. and you did, and it's not yeah. a big problem. I just thought it would have been funnier to just have Paul Rudd as to make wait, him wait, wait, the, the focus. There are elves? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Because like, that, that's his face. He was like, dark elves? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was, it, anyway, it's good. It's good. They explain where everything is. They get everything. I was like, this is damn. Can you time it right? We can get three teams and go. Well, they have a plan. Yeah. Let's execute it. Then yeah. they have the big walk where they're going onto the thing. And they, they look awesome it. as fuck. They do. They're like, yeah, baby girl. And they get on there. And, and then Cap gives his signature uh, speech right before any sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. big battle. Fucking fantastic. It's We're going to go back. We're going to get everybody. Let's do this. And then, uh, is it... Rocket turns around and goes, he's really good at that, isn't he? And Paul Rudd, because he's in love with Captain America. So, he's like, he really is, yeah. yeah he's he really, really is. good. Anyway, yeah. And he was, it is a great speech. Great speech. I was I was ready to go and fight. Yeah. Jesus. Anyway, they go off, they go off into their own separate places. And here where there is one small problem. Okay. So they go off to their separate places. One of them uh, is New York. The other one is, uh, I'm not sure, um, a planet... I'm not sure where they're going. We won't name them. But, we'll but one of them is a Morag, they call it, right? Um, what's this? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, it's called Morag. I don't remember the other ones, okay, but Morag yeah. they go to, which is where the reality stone is, where Peter Quill is. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they send Nebula, War Machine, and they also send uh, Jamie Renner's character, Hawkeye, and Scarlett yeah. Johansson over to that same planet. Yeah. And then they pull out a ship and then make them fly away to the other thing. Mm. And I'm like... Why didn't you just send them to the planet in the first place? Why did you send them there and then go well, off? I think it was because uh, they had they wanted to go to the first planet because they're getting two stones, aren't they? Yeah, they're on separate planets though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is they only have enough time, enough pin particle for one trip there and one trip back. But each one of them require. You guys can let me know as well. Each one of them need their own pin particles. Yeah, so, but that's what I'm saying is so you want a team. Yeah. Right, so you're going to send them as a team. So you send them as a team to location one with a ship. They fly to location two and then time travel back. You don't send them, split them, because then what's the point of having teams? Well, That's the, the way thing, I thought of it, but, but I've only seen it once. So I, I might have missed something. I was completely like... Because the thing is, is that in the end they split up anyway. So it's like these two, this team anyway splits up into two. Why did they need to meet on this one planet and then split up? Why didn't they just go, okay, you go to that planet and you go to that planet? Yeah. Anyway, Fair. just the thing. It Fair. didn't affect anything in the no. end anyway. So it was just a thing that I thought about. Um... And they go to Vesemir so they can get that soul stone and they don't know how to get it. Yeah, 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 with the yeah. red skull. They all go apart. They do their thing in New York. And that was fantastic scene, by the way. Sort of like Back to Avengers 1 where they see uh, uh, Captain America and of all the whole team Avengers yeah. of around Loki. And it's like, all right, you're getting arrested now. And they take him away. Yeah. At that point, you get Hydra agents walk in and they don't know it's Hydra. They're shield. Shield agents, yeah. sort of Masters Hydra right. and whatnot. And they come in and they take the, the scepter. Uh, the... What I loved as well is Captain America says those guys are Hydra and they're like, well, why are you giving them the stuff? He's like, well, we don't know that. We don't know that yet. Yeah. And then Ant-Man turns around and goes, are you kidding me? They look like bad guys. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, they do look yeah, like bad do. guys. Fair point, right? And then I did love the scene where um, Captain America comes into the elevator and he goes, yes. oh, I'll be taking that. And they're like, oh, no, we can't let it happen. Everybody starts reaching for their guns and he goes, hail Hydra. Yes. Like he leans in. And because he knows they're Hydra. I love that. And then that those scene. dudes, they're like, he leaves and they're like, oh, he must be, he must no, be her. The, the guy whose name I forgot, but he's named, he's like the head guy. He looks yeah. like the bad mercenary guy. Yeah. After Cap leaves, he's like, fuck yeah, we got Captain America. Captain yes. America's a Hydra agent? Hells yeah. Exactly. He's like, yeah, we got Cap. He's a Hydra guy. As soon as I saw those elevator doors open, I saw those guys and I was like, this is Civil War all over yeah, again. Yeah. This is, I think, it sorry, um, is, it, is it Civil War? Is it Winter, Winter, Winter Soldier? Sorry. Winter Soldier all over again. This is amazing. Yeah. Anyway, and then he goes, Hill Hydra. And I was like, that right there, that's he a good writing. Right there. Everybody good writing. relaxes as well. Such a brilliant scene. Because yeah. they're like, because it was going to be that scene again where they're just like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. and as far as they know, because it's 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 the first Avengers, yeah. nobody even knows Hydra's a thing except yeah. Hydra. And this guy leans in and goes, Hail Hydra. Out of the blue. Yeah. And he mentions uh, the brilliant. secretary's name. So he goes, yeah. the secretary said I'll run point. It's like, why would the secretary say our head is uh, um, 
Nick Fury is uh, Nick Fury. Sorry. Yeah. So why would he say? And then it goes because he's the a hydra. Runs, yeah. Exactly. So that was a really good little touch there. I exactly. Like that. that was very good. That was anyway. very well thought out. Exactly. Jumping forward, so they try and get the tesseract by blowing up uh, Tony's uh, uh, heart. Oh, they give him a heart attack. Basically, they yeah. give him a heart attack, and um, they kick the, the the case over. Tony picks it up in his hand, dresses like a SWAT team member, starts walking out, and then Hulk just smashes him along the room. That was funny. Loses the stone, uh, so the tesseract, which falls out in front of Loki. Who Loki it picks it up, ducks. dusts out to Infinity Plus because that's where his new TV show is going to be yeah, starting. Yeah. <laughs> so I like that little thing. It's like he's actually gone to Infinity Plus. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Anyway, um, that's what happened. And then there's a little bit where Thor tries to sort of like defibrillate Tony. I like that. Like, yeah, he, he like I don't know if this is going to work. It's a, oh my God, that worked. Can it you worked. believe that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, they fuck up. They, they realize they fucked up on this bit. There was a funny little image as well going around on Reddit where it was like, Superman's weakness, kryptonite. Um, another superhero that I can't remember's weakness, something else. And then it was the Hulk's Amateur. weakness, the stairs. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so I was like, like, too many stairs. Yeah. Hulk no likes stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing is that they convene together and they realize, oh, we fucked up. We've, we, we've lost the Tesseract. We can't get it back. Yeah, we we've need lost to... one of the Infinity Stones. We've exactly. got to figure out a way to get it. If one this. of them's lost, this all lost. There's yeah. no point in exactly. carrying on. Um, they suddenly have like a brain, that brain moment. They're like, oh, I know where there are both of the, the, the so I know where to get. They the, have time travel. As long as the stones are in a known location at a known time, exactly. they can go there. The only issue is that they don't Pim have more Pim's particles. particles. So they go, where can we find Pim particles and get the Tesseract? I know, back in the 1970s? 60s, 70s, 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 70s something yeah. like that. Uh, there's an older shield base and whatnot, hidden shield base, Garden State. I know exactly yeah, where it is. Pim's going to be there. The Tesseract's there as exactly. well. We can do another trip, go there and get the stuff. Exactly. Now, while this is all happening, mm -hmm. on what's Quill's planet? Morag, I think. Morag. Yeah. While that's going down, because yeah. I, I feel like we should skip back, jump back to this, Nebula. Yes. Nebula has a problem. What do they say? She's on the same network. So when Nebula Neural goes network, back, yeah. when, Nebula, when Nebula goes back in time, her mind is using the on same... the same sort of frequency. It's using they, the same Wi-Fi yeah. as evil old nebula yeah and there's a scene where thanos is in the middle of doing something or speaking to somebody and yeah. nebula's eye hologram thing goes. r2d2 sort of holograms and it's memories right. of things that she said but not this nebula the other exactly nebula. big problem yeah suddenly thanos knows yeah thanos knows that um time travels afoot yep he knows he gets the stones he knows he gets killed yeah and he knows he sees that all of that happens. And he sees the the discussion at the very beginning of the movie where he tells them, "I destroyed the stones yep. so that this couldn't be done." And he pieces together because he's Thanos that well, if they're doing this time travel, they figured out a way to undo it. So he's coming up with a new plan to make yeah. sure that can't happen. Exactly. So big, big problem. Yes. So then they have to find the pin particles and they go over to 1970, as we said. So they go over to the 1970s and that's where the Tesseract is and where they can find more pin particles. Yeah. They go down into the secret like shield base and people kind of know yeah. that something's a bit wrong. Well, they don't Cap, look like they belong Cap there. Cap has a creepy moment where he's staring <coughs> at Agent Carter. Yes, exactly. And Tony runs I mean, into his... Yeah, she's hot. Tony runs into his dad. Yes. He, so he steals the, the Tesseract. Spoiler alert, they get it. Yeah. And they get the pin particles. And he has this like touching moment with really his dad because he moment. doesn't. I don't know. It's it's good. It was it really is good. good. Yeah, the, like he is clearly uh, his dad is very uh, on edge. Like, how am I gonna be a father? I don't even yeah, know how. Yeah. First thing about being a father, how do I do that? And, and he never great... saw that side of his father when he was growing exactly. up. Exactly. And there's some great scenes where like he's you know because um, his dad asks him like, do you have any kids? And he goes, yeah, I've got a daughter. Explains yeah. it, and he's asking like, were you ready? All this stuff. And Tony gets to see his dad as this guy that doesn't know what he's gonna do, and. He says something that really stuck with me. He goes, oh, you know what? At the time, I felt like my dad was really hard on me. But now I get that he was just doing his best. He was trying to be his best. And it's so touching. That was another, like, yeah. lump in the throat moment. There was the, the hug at the end where it's like, thanks for everything uh, you've done for America. <laughs> yeah, you've done for America. <laughs> and then they, they shoot off and, and go yeah. back. Yeah. Anyway. They Ooh, get the... One thing I did forget. Go on. So, so, okay. So they get the pin particles. They leave. Nebula. Yes. They find new Nebula. Yeah. And replace her with... 
old evil nebula. That's exactly, the important yeah. thing. So when uh, eventually, so they're like, okay, we've got all the stones, everything's great. Let's go back to our area. And just before he's about, uh, Nebula's about to sort of GPS back, she gets shorted out with That's her it. version of the thing, and they capture her, and then they sort of beat the information they out. They figure of out her. what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Get all the information out of her, and then they go back to. They go, okay, we're going to jump to the future instead of this nebula. Yeah, takes that plate off the head, so it sort of like impersonates the 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 new nebula. The yeah, old she nebula, looks sorry. different because she's had different. You know, she's exactly. Had Monty injuries and, stuff and yeah, like exactly. That. Um, and she, yeah, so they go, they all go back. Uh, sorry, th then we jump to Vesmir where Hawkeye and um, Scarlett Johansson are arguing it out, and they found out that Red Skulls told them that you Red have Skulls to sacrifice. Told them you have to sacrifice somebody, and they exactly. start having this discussion about, well, it's got to be you or me. Yeah, and it starts to go south. Mm -hmm. And you, I, sh I assume you had the same thought of because I was like, oh shit, they're both talking about the other person being yeah. sacrificed. They were like. It has to be one person. And it's like, I think yep, it's, it's quite clear be, who it's got to be. Who it's going to be. And then it turns out actually they're talking about themselves. Yeah. Each one is saying it's got to be me. Exactly. And they fight over it. Because yeah. they're, 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 I think they're both the closest they've ever come to best friends. Because yeah. um, Black Widow, you know, Natasha Romanov, mm -hmm. this is a deeply damaged human being. Yep. You know, she's raised, if you guys don't know, I actually really like Black Widow. I don't like her as like an Avenger. What where I like her as an Avengers one, you know, where she's being interrogated by the yeah. Russian guys and it turns out she's actually interrogating them. Yeah. That's how that's Well then you're gonna like her movie then because she's gonna be there's I hope a, so. uh, yeah. a Natasha Romanov movie sort of coming, yeah. Black Widow movie coming up. So so she's that's where she's great at yeah. and but she's like this kid assassin yeah. sort of deal. And this is her best friend. Yeah. And ultimately they fight it out. And she goes over the edge. Yeah, like um, they they really like they really do fight. And Hawkeye's about to jump off, and then Natasha comes along yeah. and like straps a uh, like a, a zip line to her, hooks over, and then they're holding like by hand. And a touching moment. So good. Hawkeye's just like no. He even says please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that got me. That and then she just jumps, she jumps off, and she's dead on the floor. And, That's the and sacrifice. He gets the soul stone. Exactly done. Um, he got the source line and then that's the moment they all go back together yeah. and then they meet back at current year in, on the, the platform yeah. and whatnot. And at that moment they're all just sort of like did we just do it? Because they're all just yeah, like really yeah. happy. Hawkeye just drops to his knees. Yeah. Hulk's like where's Nat? She didn't make it. Dead silence There's right nothing. there. Everyone knows exactly what Everybody happened. Everybody knows. Gutting right there. That's bad. And that's one bad. thing that I noticed I think I told you at the time before they did the time heist, before they actually went on the, the jump. Time heist, I love that. It's the best name. When they did the jump, Natalie was the only one that said, see you in a minute, guys. Yeah. And then it turns out she's the one that doesn't return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, did, I remember you said that the first time. You're like, she said, see you in a minute. Yeah. Fucking it's it's really tough, man. That's touching, isn't it? Exactly. Anyway, jumping forward, we've got the Infinity Stones. We've got to make a gauntlet for it. Har uh, Tony makes something out of like his nanotech and whatnot. Iron Man gauntlet. Exactly. Like, we're going to call it a start gauntlet. This is important. So they, they put so it Tony makes like an Iron Man gauntlet. Yes. And they all decide, like, okay, so who's going to be the one to put it through? They all have a bit of an argument. Thor comes along and says, I'm the strongest Avenger. I should do it. And he's like, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. You're, you're in no state to do it. Anyway, and then Hulk comes along and goes, it's mostly Gamma. It should be me. It's almost yeah. like I was made for it. Yeah. So he puts it on. Uh, they say, very importantly, you're not snapping everyone back to where they were. You snap everyone back to right now, right here. You, everyone who was lost by the keep, snap. You keep it now because exactly. Tony has said, do don't change anything because yeah. he wants his family. You bring everybody who was snapped away back mm -hmm. as they were, mm -hmm. but now. Yep. That's all you do. You don't exactly. touch anything. Even if they were to go back into the thing, the whole rules say that you can't change your current yeah. timeline by putting things in the work. past. Exactly. Uh, also, because even if you didn't, if you unsnap people that back then. Thanos will just snap his fingers again. Exactly. No point. Doesn't work. He puts on the gauntlet. It basically burns his entire arm yeah, to a crisp. It's, it's what we saw happen to Thanos at the very beginning. Exactly. So he, do, he does the. He does bring everybody. He back. does bring everybody back. Well, he, he snaps, and then there's like this this silence. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah. And then they're like checking on. And Hulk we see and outside. Like there's more birds like and stuff. And stuff and, like that. Yeah. Hawkeye then gets a phone call from Velma. His wife. Yeah, like, Velma. <laughs> Velma's the only way I'm gonna respond. Yeah. Anyway, gets a call from her, and then you sort of like, oh, everything's going great. But moments before that, and this is part I don't know how it happened, they managed to get Thanos and his ship, his huge ship, through the portal. Even though the ship doesn't have a quantum suit, yeah, even know. though the ship know, doesn't have pin particles, because uh, things all have already gone through, there was a jump there, there was something wrong there. Yeah. Anyway, at that moment, just as uh, Ant-Man's looking outside the window, looking at beautiful butterflies and birds and stuff like that, 
raining fire of missiles come down. Yeah. Everything the starts complex blowing up. Is destroyed. Completely destroyed. Everyone's in underground. Everyone's getting like destroyed and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Hawkeye somehow manages at the lower level. He's got the gauntlet on him, and he's like, "Guys, I've got the gauntlet," and he's running. Yeah. He's being chased by all those like Chitauri people and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Thanos army dudes. Exactly. Getting getting ch taken out of there, and he's he goes badass. You know, strapping yeah, he's bombs, awesome. wiping people. Everyone's dying left. As right a human center. goes, he's he's like the guy you don't want to be messing exactly. with. Exactly. Yeah. Thanos <clears> then comes down. He's sitting down there, and he tells Nebula. It's like you know, good work, door and stuff yeah. like that. Um, go get, go me, the get me the glove. Yeah. No problem. Goes off. He sits down and he puts like his sword down. Yeah, he puts his waiting. helmet down. He's just waiting. And that is the setup for the final big big scene, the most epic fight scene ever. Yeah, it's pretty great. So oh, we skipped we over. Missed, we skipped Thor and we skipped the Hulk. But so <clears> let's talk to... about the Thor one because that one's pretty cool. So Thor goes back to Asgard, old yes. Asgard, right where the. Um, What's the stone he's getting there? The Tesseract. Reality stone. The reality stone. Oh, that's right, because it's in Jane, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So he goes back then. <clears throat> I, I particularly love that he bumps into his mum. Yes. And all the, the, forget the fact that he's fat Thor. Yeah. <clears throat> she literally says, time hasn't been kind to you. Yeah. The future, the hasn't, future hasn't been kind to you, son. And she's like, what are you talking like, about? No, I'm a future. regular Thor. And she, uh, the, the bit I loved is she goes, boy, I was raised by witches. Yeah. <laughs> so I see them more with, than with just my eyes. <laughs> and she, she knows. She knows. She yeah. just knows. She just knows. And it's like, I, I'm normal thought. It's like, I'm totally from the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he breaks down because he's a mama's he boy down. at heart. And he wants he to tell her it. everything and whatnot. And, and that's something that I love as well because they get to have this heart to heart. And she yeah. gets to tell him, look, you're, you're a hero. Like, go and save who needs to be saved. Yeah. And he goes, mom, I've got to tell you something. She goes, no. No. You can't. It won't. That's my future. It's to my deal future, with. and you can't change it. Yeah. Like save who you can save. Yeah. And just before him and Rocket, Rocket gets the reality stone, and just before they leave, Thor goes, "Wait." It does take a second. It does take a second. <laughs> and then in comes Mjolnir, and he looks and he loves <laughs> it, and then they disappear. Something about that. Um, he just takes Mjolnir. I know they're gonna replace it again, yeah. but pop, could pop. you imagine being Thor in that timeline, just like? Where the f- Where Mjolnir! The <laughs> <laughs> like, could you imagine? Just fuck Thor from that time, yeah. innit? Just like, come on, let's so, go. So, anyway, back to our time. Back to um, our time. Thor, Thor like, gets both um, Stormbreaker and Mjolnir. So fucking cool. So like cool. That. Lightning in his face, it's so great. Then they go down and they, they start beef fight. the hell out. I have to say, one Best of the things, fight. it's amazing and stuff starts going south. This is, this is Thanos in his prime. Yes. He doesn't have any of the yeah, he doesn't have any of the stones. Doesn't have any sense, but he's in his prime. He's not been damaged at he's all. Not by been any damaged. Fights. He's rested. Everything's great, and exactly. he's a powerful person. He's a titan exactly. of the universe. Exactly. And, like, don't wrong. Cap should never really be in a fight with this guy because he's just a, like an, a mutant dude. Yeah. And his shield, which is all vibranium, starts getting chewed up straight away by that sword. So he's got that blade, and he's hitting it and hitting it, and, and it's just cutting and cutting through and, it. Dude, Thanos is starting to tear through these dudes. Like Tony starts taking yeah. damage. Thor gets beaten. And there's a point where I think Thanos is standing over. Is it Tony or Stark? And he's about to like... Thor. It's Thor's Thor. being pushed back. He's in the fight and whatnot. He's pushing Stormbreaker into his chest this oh, time. Oh yeah, Thanos so is it's pushing like Stormbreaker into Thor. A nice turn of events and whatnot. And you can see in Thor's eyes, he looks he's like, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Yeah. And, and then you see, see, you see, see Mjolnir, Mjolnir just, just levitate. Lies. And then just go, zoom, hit Thanos on the back of the, the head and whatnot. He turns around and, and then, then Mjolnir <laughs> zooms back. And it's... Fucking Cap. Captain America. Mjolnir. Yes, he is worthy. And Thor, <laughs> Thor goes straight away, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> and then Cap with Mjolnir just go toe-to-toe oh. -to -toe with, with Thanos. The combos. Murders him, calls down lightning from the sky. Oh. It was so amazing. There was one where he sweeped the floor with lightning, pulled it up and pulled Dude, it down. It, it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It's one of the reasons I picked my shirt today. Exactly, that was, that's why I did it as well. It was it was so good. Incredible. It was so good. Probably the best uh, sort of payoff over, because the thing is, is that they had to have planned that from uh, of Age, of, Age of Ultron. Where, and then yeah. they went... And then they went all the way over. That's what restraint does. All the way over to the last movie of yeah. the franchise. Like, there you go. But the payoff for that so scene. So good. Such oh. a good superhero fight. Yeah. So good. Easily the best. Exactly. Because you got these upsets. And then Cap has that huge... Uh, so good. So, so good. good. Anyway, after that, they have a bit more of a fight. He is whooping his ass, but then afterwards, Titan, he's I a mean, fucking he's, huge Titan. He's a Titan. Ultimately, exactly. Cap is just a man. Exactly. He just. then starts to get the better of him. He loses Mjolnir for a second, and he starts banging into his shield, like we said before, and it starts to break into pieces. And, and the real worst thing is the ships up there. Exactly. The, the ships 
bringing down an army mm -hmm. and raining missiles from up mm -hmm. high. That's a big problem. And then at that moment, he calls down all the Chitari people, and that's the moment where you see the huge force. There's tons of people. And at that moment, you must it's see... It's his full invading army, and the difference between Infinity War and now is no one's ready for this army. Exactly. In Infinity War, we've is... got all of Wakanda, we've got all of the Avengers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we've got everybody. Yep. Ready to face this army. In this, this you have five of the Avengers. There. It's who's there. And you can see that in Cap's eyes. Because he takes a moment to get he's up. Beaten, and they're all beaten and bloody. He's like, Thanos is, is winning this fight. And he's got like a gash in his arm. So he's like, but he's just like getting up. He's like, even though he knows he's getting up and he has to get up. It's he over. can't win it's this. Over. He can't win it's this. Over. And he's just about to take a step forward. And all he hears, shh, shh. Cap. On your left. Oh, yeah. And you're like. Falcon? Yeah, yeah. And then out of nowhere the, you the see portal, portal open up from Doctor Strange yeah, yeah. and Falcon comes Falcon swooping comes in out. and uh, Black Panther and then they look at each other they're just like and they're like yeah, cool we've got there's some backup and then another portal opens and another, another portal opens and if you notice they join up yes and so you've got these two portals that start growing and then they touch each other and they grow even larger even larger and then it's the whole army the whole Wakandan army away, every everyone, Avenger every everyone, side character everyone thing with her the Valkyrie with her Pegasus as well I don't know where she was keeping everyone, that but the everyone everyone comes back and it's just this huge cinematic sweep of all of the characters over the entire MCU. Just after that sweeping comes along, everyone's standing, everyone's going good. Captain America says, Avengers, assemble. And it's like, he what? Said it. He said it. Yes. And then they go fighting and it's just it's right. a massive battle. It's a great, huge it's a great like, upswing in the movie. But then the, stip, the ship starts raining missiles. It's a bad time. There is, there is one, one bit that, the, that causes that. It's that Wanda finally comes along uh, to the... Wanda, the... Um, uh, Red Witch. Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Comes along, sees Thanos and is sort of like, you took everything from me. And he's like, I don't even know you. Yeah. You will. And she... Fox Thanos up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's she because really she's well. powered by the, she's the, powered the by stone. One of the infinity exactly. Stones. So that's she's really her. powerful. Yeah. Crushing him. And he's like, rain fire. And that's like, it, our, that's it. our troops, sir. It's like, just do it. And then it just starts raining missiles. And like the, and they have to sort the, of evade. The them. magic guys put up shield, but it's a bad time to be yes. it's a bad time to be down there. Exactly. And then the ship stops firing and the guns raise. And it just starts shooting into the clouds. Exactly. For no reason and you're like what's going on what's, what's and somebody that? says what are you shooting at yeah or what are they shooting at and then you just see this golden light from the sky yeah come down captain marvel in from out of space like a bullet just goes straight through the yeah, ship yeah, yeah. and just destroys it it, it was, was pretty useful pretty useful right there it was there was one scene just before that and it was the scene where um spider-man uh oh, tom yeah, holland yeah, yeah, yeah. saves tony from one of that those other guys and whatnot hey mr stuck i was on the thing I was and, on then, the, and then this happened and i came back and then dr yeah. strange did the thing and he I just hugs him like, he's like suit instant kill mode and the arms yeah. come out and just start <laughs> stabbing everything yeah it was, but then it was pretty cool he hugs tony and then to they just have that, that moment another where he's just throat in the lump in the throat moment tony's just there like it's the kid it's yeah. him like because and he hugs him and he's like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. This is, yeah. Nice. This is a beautiful moment. Um, so, yeah. So, Captain America comes down, destroys the ship. Yep. So, it's back to level army versus army. Mm -hmm. Comes down, uh, fights with Thanos. Yes. Starts to get the better of him. Thanos grabs... Uh, I love the infinity punch. He grabs one... I think it's the power stone. <sighs> yeah. Grabs it in his hand and just de demolishes... Dude, Captain that punch... Knocked so her good. flying. She didn't come back for the entire no, rest of the she's movie. Done. <laughs> she's gone. Done. That was a massive punch. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Just before when they're trying to get it to the to the portal so they can go through and give it put the stones, put the stones back, back where, where they were when they found them. All yeah. the female uh, heroes and protagonists in all of these uh, movies get together, and it is a really good sight. Really good sight of all of the female characters where they're just sort of like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. and they're gonna essentially guard Captain America, Captain Marvel, sorry, yeah. with the gauntlet as she goes in. He stabs the the portal so that it blows up and they can't get yeah, it through. Yeah, they can't so they get have the stones to... back in the time to where they, wherever they exactly. got them. Exactly. They need yeah. to fight Thanos and get it done. And at that moment, that's when Tony sort of like grabs his arm and whatnot and like and sort of like they trade punches. They trade punches, and then and Thanos, Thanos goes. goes uh, he goes, "I'm inevitable." I am inevitable. And then he and nothing happens. So unsatisfied. Nothing. And then he looks. No. And stones. the stones are gone. But this is what I love because it's the it's the it's the nanotech. The nanotech. So. Yeah. We look back at Iron Man and the stones are on his regular. It's all just like going hand. up into yeah, position yeah, yeah. on his hand. And he's so like, cool. And he's like, and he says the line anyway, he's sort of like, he holds on and he's like, you're forgetting one thing. 
I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. And he snaps. Snaps. And, and he then, undoes Thanos. He just, he, all of his army, they just turn they to ash. dust and ashes. Yeah. And at that moment, Thanos understands. He's like, I'm fucked. I, yeah. You, so all he does is just sit just down. Sits. He just sits. And dusts And dusts away. away. And then we have that scene. It's not all... It's not all roses and sunshine, is it? So no. you, we then cut to Tony Stark after he's given that snap. And he's all burnt he's up, but bad. it's not... The Hulk and Thanos are these like cosmic beings, basically. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tony's a man in a metal suit. Yes. And he had... The entire the cosmic universe, energy yeah, going go through, through him. him. And it's not good. He, as well as his arm being obviously like burnt to a crisp, which is inside his suit and stuff like that. You can see his face. It's, it's all traveled green. up. Green. It's bad. It's like, and he's, 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 you can see in his eyes, he's almost dead inside. Yeah, he's dying. Almost can't. He's, he's not even inside there. There's no... There's, people are trying to talk it. to him. You're looking at it, and a lot of people are like, oh, he could pull through, he's just a bit burnt. No, 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 he's dying. No. There's no... As soon as you see it, you know he's dying. War Machine tries to talk to him. Like, we knew it from the kid, but... We didn't know When how. you see it, you're like, yeah, he doesn't pull through this. Yeah. You, he doesn't pull through this. Yeah. Pepper comes up to him afterwards up, yeah. and like you see a uh, war machine next to her and stuff like that. The the guys of his family and whatnot try and talk. And no one can get through to him except for Pepper. Except Pepper. Pepper's yeah. looking at him and it's like, you, you okay? And she says, because you know she said he couldn't rest with yeah. that information. Yeah, he yeah, goes, yeah. you can rest now. Yeah, you can rest now. And I was like... I was, I was so close <sighs> to breaking. I was so... I'm even getting a little bit, like, choked up now right thinking now. about it. It's so good. And the thing is, like, it's not like it's a sad movie. It's it's 22 movies yeah. of history with these characters. Mm -hmm. And then they... <clears throat> Tony goes out that way. Yeah. As, like, the ultimate hero against the ultimate evil. Just so touching. Yeah. So good. So well done. Like, the ending to that is... If that's the end of the movie, it's brilliant. It goes on a little bit further. Yeah. <clears throat> but he dies at that bit. He does. And everyone's obviously really emotional. And then it goes on to, you know, all right, we won, but we had this huge loss. Everyone's crying. Everyone's yeah. sad and stuff like that. But everyone is back and whatnot. Yeah. Um, they then try to get back to Normalia and they got, we cut to the scene of his funeral. Yeah. So he's having a, they're having a little funeral there. They walk out with like a, a wreath of flowers. This is a pepper and the daughter yeah. and whatnot. And in the, they put it down in the river and they let it go in the river. And it has the first, um, the very chest first unit chest piece. That says, yeah, pro proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Full Which circle. was another thing that I was like, oh, oh Jesus, together, man. Yeah. Oh, God. And, and then there's a, there's a scene with John Favreau, who's been the director on a lot oh, of these movies. Just, just before we get to yeah. that, there's one little thing I wanted to mention. So they're cutting back you, and they're going through you know, all, all the, the little things in I'm this movie. Through, yeah. So I had a little look. Because um, there were some questions I had. So anyway, they're going through all the people, all the people from the franchise yeah, yeah, yeah. and whatnot, all the and there's heroes. One random, there that we don't one know. random, and I found out who that is. So that's why I wanted to mention it. It's the kid from Iron Man 3. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I'm like, I mean, it's not needed. I didn't really feel no. like it was there. Yeah, but, but anyway, I yeah. was like, who is that kid? Who? Yeah. And it turns out it's Iron Man 3. Anyway. Then, so from there, it yeah. pans up to the kid who's adorable. Absolutely. And John Favreau, who's yes. like the driver. So the driver, Tony Stark's driver, who's been in a lot of the Iron Man movies. He's one, he's been, I think he's the director on all of them. And yeah. he's been in the director on a few of the others, I believe. Yeah. And he says this thing to this kid, he's like, I don't know, she says I want to cheat. He asks her, he, he goes, do well, what do you want? He's like, how are you doing? So like, you okay? He's like, do you want to get something to eat? And she's like, yeah. What do you want to eat? I'm going to have a cheeseburger. And it goes exactly. back to Iron yeah. Man wanting cheeseburgers. That's what he wanted yeah, 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 the exactly. first one. And, it's just like, oh. and he's like, I'm going to so get you all the cheeseburgers you'll ever want. Like, Your father loves cheeseburgers. I'm going to yeah. get all the cheeseburgers you all want. The and, but the thing is as well, like John Favreau, and I, I feel like that scene for, for John Favreau is his, his like saying goodbye to the franchise, saying goodbye yeah. to the movies and stuff. And... I don't know if he's just actually a brilliant actor, because I know he is quite good, mm -hmm. but I feel like that's a really genuine goodbye to Iron Man yeah. moment for him. He was the was one that started touching. the whole MCU, yeah. essentially, Pretty and whatnot. Yeah, he, so, well, Iron Man had to be a success. Iron Man 1 had to be a success. He proved the concept. Yeah. Definitely. And so, I think that's a really genuine and touching, heartfelt goodbye. Yeah. So then, it's been Tony's funeral. Yeah. We've still got these uh, stones. We need to get them uh, back where they need to be. So, yes. they send Cap. They send Cap back with uh, Mjolnir and the five Infinity Stones. Uh, yeah. Winter Soldier's there, Bucky's there, and uh, Falcon's there, yeah. and Hulk behind the computer mm -hmm. trying to get things done. They're in like in the woods, and they've made sort of like a small portable version of that. Of yeah. that uh, and they basically say, look, you've got enough to go where you need to go. Yeah. It'll be, I'm going to let you go in there, walk around for a bit. For you, it'll be enough time as you need. Out here, it'll be like 10 seconds. Yeah, five seconds. And you, you go, you put Mjolnir back where he needs to be. You put all the stones back when they were wherever we got yeah. them. Uh, and then we'll pull you back out. 
Okay, cool. Got it. Cap goes in the thing. J just before that, um, uh, Bucky's sort of like, you know, how's it going and what's that? And he goes, I'm going to miss you. And it's sort of like, what do you mean you're going to miss him? Even though yeah. we had in our minds what's yeah. going to happen. We're like, what are you going to miss me for? And then he goes, don't do anything stupid until I get back. A call back to my, uh, the first Avenger, yeah. where, he so, where he says that just before he's about to go uh, yeah. to the army. He's yep. like, don't do anything stupid until I get back. And then you sort of see like a little look that they There's give each look. other. Kind of a knowing look. Yeah. And then they go, he goes into the He ball. goes in. Yeah. Hulk counts down like, okay, it's been five mm. seconds, ten seconds, whatever. We'll pull him out. Nothing happens. Nothing. Doesn't come back. Nothing happens. And they start freaking out. Like, where is he? Yeah. Get him back. That's Captain, that's Captain America. Yeah. That's America's ass you've just lost. Exactly. Right? That's America's ass. Yeah, that's America's ass. <laughs> um, and then Bucky goes, guys, guys, like, look, look up. Look yeah. up, and I, presumably out of nowhere, somebody, an old man, has materialized yeah. on a bench. Yes, exactly. Which and is, we don't know how he got there. You can let us know in the comment yeah. section. We, but an old man gets there. We go over to him. But Bucky and Falcon walk over, but Bucky just sort of looks over at Falcon and is just like, Yeah, it's, it's you. Go, go, go for it. And he goes over and he's like, Cat? How's it good? And it's old man cap. Old man cap. It's old man cap. It's really good. It looked like cap. It as looks well. really good. It does look really good. And <clears> basically, <throat> I think he says, "Oh, I thought I'd uh, try some of that life I've been missing that out." That Tony on. was telling me about. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the basic thing is, he's obviously gone, returned the stones and Mjolnir. Yeah. And then gone and caught up with Cap with Agent Carter. Yeah. And just had a life and lived his life yeah. until now. And then return to tell him what's happened. Yeah. He goes, uh, did something go, Cap uh, Falcon goes, did something go wrong or did something go right? And he's all yeah, looks yeah, yeah. like, because he knows he's, he's probably, yeah. he looks happy. So something probably went right. Yeah. Anyway, and he goes, I'm going to go get that life. And uh, then he sort of shakes his hand and you see like the ring and he's like, yeah. do you want to tell me about that? Exactly. Tell no. her? He's like, he's no, like, I think I will. No, I don't think I will. Yeah. And then you see the cut shot where basically back in 1970s he's where he's like with slow Agent dancing Carter. and you yeah. saw he had a good life. And he hands Falcon the shield. The shield, yes. Yeah, like, oh, I, I remember something. I forgot something. Here, take this. Take this. Because they exactly. they're teeing him up to be the new Captain America. Or something exactly. Like that. So, and he holds it, and he's like, "How does it feel? Feels like it's not my. It doesn't belong to me." And he's like, "It does. Yeah, it does. So if, like it does yeah, belong it does. to. This is yours that's, now. That's a good handoff because they're going to make him Captain handoff. America. So Captain America says, "Look, this is yours now. This is yours." Yeah. And I like that Bucky steps away. I yeah. like that Bucky kind of knows, look, you need to do this. It was almost like, so when they were going to go onto the pad, it's almost like Bucky, because he's his long, li lifelong friend. He knows yeah, that he this knows. is the last moment. And they did say, I'll miss you. He sort of he went, They've had that this was our closure goodbye. as well. Like where, um, when Cap leaves him in Wakanda. Yeah, yeah. That's his like absolution moment. He's yeah. been like born again. He's a good guy. He's free to just live and get old and die. Yep. And he know, and that's what Cap does for Bucky. Yeah. And Bucky knows that's what Cap's doing for himself. Mm -hmm. And he's for it. Yeah. And he's already, they've already had their goodbye five seconds before. Exactly. And as far as he's concerned, like because they are best friends, you know, a lot of best friends, you can go two years without seeing each other. Yeah. You come back and you pick up right where you left off. Real It's best the same, friends. yeah, they're, they're true like platonic soulmates. They're yeah. just friends who are like, op, you know, to get, you know, like almost one soul sharing two bodies, not in a romantic way. Yeah. And, um, and he just knows. Yeah. And he's okay. And he's like, look, I said my goodbye five seconds ago. So you go ahead yeah, and talk like, to him. Yeah. There you, you go. go and say your thing. Exactly. And he's truly happy that <clears throat> Cap has done whatever he's done. Yeah. He knows that he's made the right decision. You you know you can trust Cap to be a good guy. Yeah. So he's like, okay, cool. Look, you need to do this. Exactly. You need to go and say the thing. And then we have the one final scene, which is of Quill looking at his screen with a whole searching sort of program running, looking for Gamora. And all the guys are back together except for Gamora, obviously. Yeah. And they've got one hitchhiker with them, which is Thor. Thor comes along and he gets on there and he tries to change the, the search program to something that, else. The, map. the best scene, I think. So, far, so you know I was complaining about Thor's comic relief. Yeah. Not that scene. That, that scene, scene doesn't perfect. count. That scene is, was <laughs> it's just brilliant. Like, it's probably like, it's like, you do know that I'm still the captain of this yeah, ship. Yeah, of course, I'm still the captain. He's like, yes, like, of course you're yes, the captain. We all know. Of course, everybody, everybody knows, knows it. it. And then other guys are like, maybe you guys should fight for honor. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. yes, yes, let's do that. Except don't use weapons, use knives. Oh, yes, yeah, let's yeah, use knives. Yeah, yeah. And the guys like, no, that's ridiculous. They have a pause. They're like, no, no, we don't need we to don't do need that. To. Everybody to. knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows who's in charge. And he's like, me. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, of, of course, course, of course, course so yes. good. you, yes. Because there was that, in that pause, you're like, like, in a whisper, he's like, yes, you, yes, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like kind of rubbing, really rubbing in. Because in that pause, where it was like, you should fight it, and they're like, no, 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 no. In that pause, you're like, oh, that's right. This is like Rune King Thor. Yeah. Like, Thor 
that killed Thanos with his bare hands yeah. once, like, and then again with you know cut his head off. Like, that's not a contest. No, like that may not have even been a contest if he, if Quill was still that weird uh, ego planet. Yeah, yeah, ego planet. Thor yeah. still might have done. It. <laughs> yeah, like, so it's it's so perfectly so, awkward I and hope. funny. That was the. F- my brother's been calling it Asgardians. I was gonna of the say, Galaxy. if the next movie isn't called Asgardians of the Galaxy, I'm flipping this table, because that was the so best funny. line. It's like the Asgardians of the Galaxy yeah, yeah. back together so again. Funny. I was like, yes. Yeah, everybody knows it's, it's you. Yeah, it's of course, it's of course, it's you. It's so funny. <laughs> that's that's how Thor should should be in terms yeah. of like comedy relief. That was perfect, and it's still Fat Thor, which I yes. loved as well. Yeah. So funny. One of the things actually about Thor that I forgot, which hopefully you caught. When he's about to fight Thanos and he calls me on it and Stormbreaker, yeah. his beard changes. Did you notice that? I didn't notice that. So before his beard's all bushy, I'm pretty yeah. sure, and then there's like the spark of lightning, the lightning in the eyes, he grabs them, and his beard's like braided and all right. Viking. It's so awesome. I was going to say, because I thought that maybe when he pulled Mjolnir or Stormbreaker, yeah. he might turn into normal... Uh, he might like lose all the fat lose all the weight because yeah. of that, you know like his suit appears when he yeah. when he grabs the thing, but it didn't happen. No, so that was that thing. That's really interesting. And then I that's think the end that of the movie. Anyway, I think I noticed. That. I thought I noticed that. No, it was I, very I, didn't, cool. I didn't notice. And it that's the end of the movie, and it was brilliant. It, it was, was a great it was a roller coaster. Brilliant. It had so many touching moments. I didn't expect there to be. It was great. It was perfect. What the the best way to end the MCU? Yep. At least as we know it. I'm glad they're not continuing on with Captain America or or Iron Man movies Mm -hmm. because I think, I've said this before, it's like those shows that it should have stopped at season four and now we're at season 11 and it just won't end. Yep. Like, this is a perfect goodbye. We got to say goodbye to Cap. He lived a a great life. Tony got to, really was the hero that, you know, that Iron Man is. And it started with Tony and it ends with Tony. Yep. It's just brilliant. It's brilliant. You couldn't ask for. A, I really, genuinely couldn't think of a better ending. I couldn't think of that. one either. It was great. And, <clears throat> I couldn't and think of one either. The comedy relief. Well, I didn't particularly love Thor in the middle of it as comedy relief, but the comedy relief is, it's light enough. There's not too much of it. The end bit with in the ship with yeah. Quill, hilarious. I love the the Paul Rudd moments as well. Anything so that he funny. did was so he's good. So funny. Uh, even some of the rocket stuff where he's like, rocket. I lost, I lost people too. I lost Quill. I lost Groot. I lost that tentacle woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what? So you really felt yeah. that one, didn't you? You can't even remember her name. So, so, it was so great. It, it was great. That don't get me wrong. It's got its problems. It does have problems, but. So good. What a way to end the franchise. It's so good. I couldn't ask for a better ending because that's been my, a lot of our critiques of these things are that the endings tend to be very poor. Yes. This one was brilliant. What yes. a way to end. Perfect. Loved it. Loved it. 10 out of 10. Go see it. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Um, let us, I think because this video has gone on for very long, let's leave our other things, like we said, the rankings and one or two, another video. In the next video, we'll, we'll do one where we rank the MCU, all the movies. Exactly. And I'll maybe do one of like how things changes I would have made. If I was yeah. going to make, knowing how this movie turned out, if I could do my own like time heist, yes. what I would change in the writing. Yeah. That was our review of Avengers Endgame. Yeah. As you can see, we loved, we it. loved it. There was so much to love about it. But did it. you? Did you? Did you? Because I'm sure you did, probably. But exactly. Like, marks out of 10, what would you have changed? What was your favourite bit? What didn't you like? What did you like? Yeah. Let's know, seriously, let us know, because I'm... I really want to talk about it some more. Exactly. <laughs> so I'll hit you in the comments. Exactly. We'll see you guys in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> see you later.